Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of In the Driver's Seat with Dubizzle. On this episode, it seems to be there's a lot of Chinese cars entering the market here in the UAE, but how many are there? Well, we're going to keep it nice and light and start with a Geely Cool Ray. Also, we've got the apartment for you if you're a real car enthusiast. The only thing is, can you afford to live there? Plus, we've got a brand new segment to test our car knowledge. Good after evening. So, as we said, we'll start with the Gili Coure. I said it actually wrong in the beginning. It's Gili. It is confusing, the name it of is. it. It's it's like it's it is. It's a G because G E Gili. And then it's Gili. And you'd expect to be with a J. I've been corrected many, many times over the past couple of weeks. But of course, Gili is back in the United Arab Emirates. Yeah. And they have come back in with full force. Gili is the parent company for a number of big brands that you know of, uh, Volvo, Aston Martin, Lotus. The, Vo the Aston Martin was actually relatively new, yeah. but now they've come in with their own cars. They've already had the M Grand lineup. They have something called a Mangiero. But what we're focusing on here is the Cool Ray. Love the name of it. It is a cool name. It is cool, exactly. The name is <laughs> like right there, isn't it? It's Cool, cool Ray. Ray. We got the opportunity to drive the car a couple of weeks ago, and I've got to say I'm very impressed with the car overall. It's a, a small little SUV. It looks really good, if I'm honest, and the colors it comes in are absolutely astonishing. They've got one that looks like, well, it's on the screen right now, but it's like a metallic sea green. They've also got one that's a lilac purple. Oh. You know what, Chris? The Chinese cars are proving to be more than the people judge them to be. Because everyone, when we started saying Chinese cars are entering the market, everyone was like, oh, Chinese cars, just like every Chinese product, it's going to be not very good. But actually, they're, they are very good. They're durable so far. Like, I haven't heard of major problems in Chinese cars. And they're giving warranties. They're giving seven years warranty and five years warranty on the cars. And they drive nice and they look nice. So that's why they're invading the market. And I mean, literally invading the market in the UAE. Yeah, there are just so many now on the road that you can the buy. And I think the real reason a lot of people are now looking at these Chinese cars, price. Yeah, definitely. A fully loaded Gili Cool Ray, full option, is only 80,000 80, dirhams. And for that, you get mega options. You get selectable drive modes, including a sport mode. You get cooled seats which is a very useful feature for the temperature here at the moment. Yeah. You get two digital displays and a number of safety features that you would not get in a car of that price from any other manufacturer. And also, of course, warranty and service contract as well for I don't know how many yeah. years. It is absolutely... So it's, it's, it's a, a very reasonable price. It is actually a cheap price. It is. For, for a brand new car with this options. Now, moving on from cheap prices and affordable, let's move on to... Uh, property. More extra. <laughs> you didn't expect us to talk about property, did you? But we're going to talk yeah. about it. Because this property is called the Bulgari Residence. And what is so special about this property is that for us car enthusiasts, guys, this is my dream. That's it. I, I expect my dream to be built over time. And this is it. I found it when I saw this advert. It's an apartment where you can park your car beside you. You have a lift to take your car to your living room. I don't know if it's your living room, actually, but it's, you can take your car up there. I mean, if you're paying, what, $750 million for it, I would assume you could really get the elevator to go anywhere, actually, sideways, actually, <laughs> left, right, up, down. Actually, it's the top view, the top apartment that had uh, three floors. This one was uh, sold for $750 million, and it came with a ground parking that comes like a showroom that fits more than 20 cars. In the, a, ground, in the ground floor. What a flex that would be, though, as well. Oh, let's go to my place. I've got loads of things to check out. <laughs> what have you got? A Yaris parked in my house. Look you at wanna it put in a Yaris. glory. Wait, like, you want to put a Yaris in, in a $750 million home? I would put a Yaris, I would put a Sunny, and I would put a Corolla, all three of them there, on display. A there. Sunny and Corolla and the Yaris. Yeah, all Very three. excellent, excellent And choice. not the GR either. No, no. Not the GR. Not the GR. And of both the Yaris or the Corolla, I would have just the standard ones there, all of them white with 50% right. <laughs> tin on display. Okay, well, one question though. If you had one car to take, what, would you, what car would you take up there? Yeah, I, mean, everyone, no, I got you with that one. No, everyone knows the answer. It's a dead giveaway. It's a what? It's a dead giveaway I'll put up there. What is that? A Volvo. What other car would I put up there? I'm going to Why put a Volvo no matter what. <laughs> Why what, am I surprised? Why don't you even ask me the question? It will Why be am I surprised? A Volvo okay. 850 T5R finished in cream yellow. Cream yellow? Yeah. Look, it's a nice car, but $750 million for an apartment. Hey, that's what, that will make, that's what makes me happy. Okay. Fair what enough. would you put there? Hmm? I'll put a 1967 Shelby Mustang GT500. Okay. In silver. Just like the one in Ghana 60 seconds, guys. I know a lot of you love this car, but this has been my dream. Eleanor. 
been my dream since I was like old enough to know about cars. So we didn't have enough space for one or two cars. Wait, I think I want to put all the cars. Yeah, that's true. I, put <laughs> I, want to replace, I want to replace the furniture in the apartment with cars. So yeah. you're like, where do you want to sit today in the living room? No, let's sit in the Yaris, let's say. <laughs> I don't want to sit in there. The, the Volvo is more comfortable. Or, okay. You know, oh, yeah, that's a, that's a good debate that would yeah, happen. If huh? you, maybe if you're watching, you know, maybe if you're watching something, or let's say you're watching Formula 1 or TV or something like that, maybe you want to sit in your Formula 1 car while you're watching Formula oh. 1 to have that immersive experience. Oh, yeah. And then be by, by, by accident, accelerate and just get out the window. <laughs> Flying over there. There you go. So this week, we've been driving the Honda Civic Type R, and what a car it is. It is a front-wheel drive, so Fouad is not uh, too keen Look, on it. Look, it's, it's a very nice car, especially after I had the test drive with you. you know, it, was, it was a nice car. It felt nice. 317 horsepower. It's powerful, um, but I would still not buy it. It's a real eye-opener, eye right? And it's, it's certainly one of these cars that's going to appreciate in value because yeah. it's going to be the last of its kind. I highly doubt we're going to see... Especially with the manual. With the yeah, manual. we're definitely not going to see any more manual cars like this. Uh, it is a real pleasure to drive. It is front-wheel drive, so everything is kind of towards the front end of the car. Handles like a dream, I've got to say. It does. I must it say does. I'm extremely rusty to driving manual. I haven't driven one in two years officially. I have a manual license before you start asking. Uh, it's a six-speed, which, again, I always get confused because I'm always driving around fifth. I always forget there's a sixth gear down there. <laughs> so that's why the, the fuel consumption I had was uh, pretty bad. Uh, but overall, the car is it's nice. Is it 200,000 dirhams nice? Well, that's a question you have to ask yourself. Yes, it's an appreciating asset, but it's certainly not something that you could drive here every day. It's a very nice uh, weekend car. Not, I wouldn't necessarily say it's a daily. Maybe if you're commuting... Uh, Maybe the fact of the manual is not the daily, because I don't know if people are used to driving manuals every day anymore. Like, I love manuals, but I don't think I can drive a manual every day in the world. Yeah, uh, definitely not. Maybe if you come in the office, maybe once or twice a week, maybe on a Friday you want to take it to the office, I think it'll be a real pleasure. Or you take it down to the local track uh, yeah. for a track day, it's it an absolutely nice. awesome car to drive. Cool. Uh, features are pretty decent as well. I was surprised it had a rear view camera, to be honest. I mean, it was a, it's a hardcore car. And lane departure assist as well. Yep. And it really vibrates the steering wheel too. The one that always gets me though, and I, I still can't fathom this, cruise control in a manual. To me, it doesn't make any sense. And it doesn't, and it's cruise control, but it's radar cruise control. So it'll actually yeah. detect cars in front of you and it will slow down. Yeah, you kind of need to be also engaged with it as well, just like any manual, you know. But I think if you're uh, cruising in sixth gear and you're going 120 on Sheikh Zayed, you want to put cruise control. You don't have to be pressing the gas. I think that's the point of it. Yeah, that's pretty much it, you know. And to me, I'll eventually figure out how a cruise control works in a manual. Now, there is one more Chinese car that we want to talk about. This is the. Uh, uh, BYD, Build Your Dreams, uh, Han 3. Now, we went to an event a couple of weeks ago. Uh, BYD had a beautiful space down uh, the Alpha Tame Zone, I think it's called, down at City yeah. Walk, where they showed off two cars. The Han really grabbed my attention because it's a, not an, I'm not going to say it's an executive sedan. It's not, it hasn't got a long wheelbase, but it is okay. a very smart and sophisticated sedan. Uh, but what really got me was the screen. Yeah. Because all you simply do is, you know, we've got normal screens that are this way. Tesla has those. But no one has both. So what you True. can do inside the BYD is you press a button. And it rotates. All by itself. It's very and it, good. That's so cool. And the screen rotates. So you've got, it doesn't like make you do it like that. You don't have to drive like <laughs> that and look at the infotainment system. No, it, you know, turn, it changes direction with it. It's really cool. Yeah, I think people are doing that. Like uh, companies are doing the stuff with the screens inside. Like the BMW 7 Series where the screen in the back pops out from the roof. And it's quite interesting, you know? I think it's time to see real changes in the car industries. Speaking of BMW, there was the release of the infamous 5 Series, which people were waiting for for a long time. And now they have an electric version as well, which is the i5. The car is quite interesting. I'm still not very, let's say, on board with the design of the car. Like, it's still a very big change for me. I don't know if you've seen the pictures, guys. It looks different. It looks different than the everyday for 5 Series. It's like they changed the whole car. The interior is very nice. What do you think about it, Chris? You missed the most important part. I can't believe this. What is that? Not even the grill. There's a wagon. Yeah. There is a wagon version <laughs> of it coming, and it's going to be electric. I can finally buy an electric car. Wagon. Yes. Volvo aren't producing one, so I guess I'm buying a BMW. I'm going to buy it in white as well. We'll give you a Lebanese passport if you buy a BMW. Amazing. I can't wait. <laughs> I'm going to go straight to the embassy and get one. Oh. Yeah, you've got the phone. Hello. Dubazil Cars. Yeah, you want to buy a car? Yeah, sure. On Dubazil Cars, we have over 1,750 live cars, all inspected by Dubazil. No issues if you don't have the cash. 
yeah, we have finance facilities. They will assist you through the finance from A to Z, insurance and everything. And we also have value added services like warranty and service contracts. Sure, I'll put you in contact with the, one of my sales and they will uh, sort this out ASAP. Anytime, have a great day. I swear we got this disconnected last time. We still get calls every now and then. Yeah. Now, for our final segment, we thought we'd make things a little bit interesting. We talk a lot about cars. We remember a lot about cars. But do we really know cars that well? We have no name for this segment, but we have a wonderful coffee mug here filled with bits of paper. There's no delicious coffee or tea inside here. Definitely doesn't smell like it either. So the producers have kindly given us five cars that we have to talk about. We have no idea about these cars, just to, to let you know. I will try my best to talk about them as little as possible, because I know that's going to be a problem <laughs> at some point. Let's see so if you know them, Chris, first of all. Okay? Let's give them a shake. Look, some ASMR as well, if that's what it's called. I wonder what they put in here. I'm okay. so excited. Do the honors. I'll pick out the first one here. I'll put that back, because I'll pick that one. As Ford said, we've not seen these at all. I'm excited So here this. we go. What is this? It opens the Volvo. How fitting is this? A Reliant Robin. Everybody will know this car if you watched anything to do with Mr. Bean. It's one of the most iconic three-wheeled cars on the planet. I would like to get my hands on one, uh, and I would love to put some sort of V8 behind that. Uh, it will have to obviously sit in the back. On three wheels. But it will probably be okay. the most insane car to ever exist. <laughs> it would and be. I don't think I would be able to take any corners whatsoever. No. <laughs> I don't think I would fit in one, to be honest. This is a very interesting game. It is. This was such it's a cool car when it came out as well. All right, forward, your turn. All right. Oh. The Shelby Cobra Super Snake. Very interesting car. This car came in the late 50s, and it was the uh, Carol Shelby who designed this car. It was a convertible. First, it came two seater. It's one of the most powerful cars at, of its time. It's a very interesting car. One for one. I will each, go no? for my, uh, my next one. There's a big one at the bottom here. We just, just unfolded. You know what? I'm going to go for the big one, and we'll do it together. Okay? Let's do that. Hopefully, this is the most obscure on the list. Okay, I wasn't <laughs> expecting that, that's for sure. <laughs> What's that? It's a very specific one too. It says Volkswagen Golf GTI Club Sports. Oh. I don't know, I don't know much about golfs. Um, yeah, so for one, what do you know about so this? As we all know, there was the GTI and there's the Golf R. So they also made the Club Sport, which comes with a little spoiler behind. Mostly it comes with two doors. It's still a front wheel drive, but it's more powerful than the R, which is a very interesting car. Do they still make it? They still make it, yeah. This is a very interesting game. It is. This was such it's a cool car when it came out as well. All right, forward, your turn. All right. Uh, let's see. Okay. I'm excited. Ba -da -da -ba -da. DMC DeLorean. Oh, this is an amazing car. I don't know if a lot of you know this DeLorean car that came in uh, one movie. What's the name of the movie? Back to the Future. Yeah, Back to the Future. I think you should get minus this one point for that. <laughs> I forgot what the movie was. No, I know the car. I knew the car, you know? This car was uh, made as a futuristic car in that movie, and it uh, resembled that how to transfer to the future with that car. Like, it goes through time, you know? It was one of the most uh, infamous cars that uh, for its time. And there are some still of it. It's being sold at huge prices, you know? Which is crazy. Yeah. And before we go... Don't forget to verify your Dubizzle account, because of course with a verified Dubizzle account, you can be safer and smarter online. You get a blue tick, higher ad placement, and of course, priority support. Thank you so much for joining us on this episode of In the Driver's Seat with Dubizzle. Of course, if you want to learn any more about the subjects that we discuss, you can of course check out the Dubizzle Cars blog, and you can see all the amazing articles down there. They've got helpful guides as well to drive during the summertime. Thank you, very nice.